Yo, what's good you guys? It's me, the Jurassic Insider. I don't have a Jurassic World game video today because Facebook is not working at all and the game knows this, but they're not doing anything, so I just gotta chill right now. So we're making a real video. It's me, like, not playing a video game. Isn't that crazy? We're gonna be ranking Jurassic Park characters. Let's get into it. Woohoo. So we gotta start with John Hammond, you know, the OG, the good guy. We're gonna put him in an awesome tier. He's pretty cool. You know, he spared no expense, so we gotta give him some credit for that. Next, we got Lex. Uh, she's fine. She's less interesting than the other kids, so we'll put her there. Good. Uh, you, Robert Muldoon, super iconic. I mean, you were in there less than Lex, and you were less important, but I don't care, because, I mean, come on. You're Robert freaking Muldoon. You have the coolest death scene in the entire franchise. I, mean, I gotta give it to you, honestly. Ray Arnold, he's pretty cool. I forgot what the actor's name is, but, uh, I heard he was like a pretty big deal so that's kind of nice I guess so you know what I'm gonna put him in good tier too you know because I think that's good actually you know what let's move him down to mad tier uh no, no no you know what good tier we're gonna go with that next we got Dennis Nedry you know good old Nedry uh I'm gonna put him in awesome too I think it's really cool I think it's funny and I think he fits the story really well and he's important to the franchise kind of depends on who you ask but yeah I guess yeah, I mean his plan really didn't go anywhere but yeah there we go awesome tier gonna put him there Ronald Gennaro probably the least interesting character from the first movie to be honest I'm gonna put him meh like he's just a lawyer he's probably the most lucrative character other than Nedry in the first movie to be honest but he's just kind of a normal guy to be honest too of course we got Ellie Sattler she's one of the OGs so she's gonna be our first bingo dynamite so we're gonna definitely put her up there I think she definitely deserves it I mean she is again an OG so you gotta give it to her we also got Alan Gratz Gr Gr oh my god what did I just say we got Alan Grant also gonna go up here obviously again, for obvious reasons I mean come on look at that beautiful face uh but no seriously Sam Neill is awesome and I think he plays Alan really well and I don't know I don't, I don't I don't know where else to put him so he's going up there next we got uh BD Wong who plays Henry Wu this is one of those few characters that's better in the later movies than he is in the first movie I'm gonna put him in awesome I think he's really really good I love his actor as well. He does a really great job. Uh, B.D. Wong, I think. So, I'm gonna put him up there in awesome. Pretty cool. Ian Malcolm. I mean, come on. You can't not love Jeff Goldblum. I'm not actually gonna put him in Dynamite. I was gonna put him in awesome, but you know what? He, he definitely deserves it, especially with The Lost World. He's kind of the main character there, and I really like The Lost World, so he's going up there. Tim. Uh, Tim, in my opinion, is just more interesting than Lex. She actually, he has, uh, oh my god. He actually has a personality, so that's kind of good. Uh, that's that's good i'm also like s starting to stop learning how to talk i don't know why i just can't talk anymore uh this is lewis dodson uh this is a character that's way more important in dominion than he is jurassic park so i'm honestly gonna put him in meh i just think he's kind of a boring dude and he's not really antagonistic and that's well i did not say that word right He's definitely not antagonistic. Oh, I said it again, didn't I? He's definitely not antagonistic enough to be the main character or the main villain of uh, Dominion, really, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't, I don't look at his face. I just see a very punchable face, especially his older version. I don't feel like he's somebody I should be taking seriously. So, I'm gonna put him in Nedry's workstation, to be honest. Like, you know, he's just, he's just a messy character, to be honest. Roland Tembo, we're stepping into the Lost World now, I guess, so... You know, Roland Tembo. Um, I, I think he's pretty cool, actually. He kind of serves as, like, a borderline character, like, kind of a morally gray character without being, like, full out, you know, a bad person. So, I mean, per se, he's, he's got his goals. He's got his motivations. He's an interesting character, for sure. I do, I do actually like him, so I'm going to put him in good. Uh, maybe just below Ray. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I, should I be counting you? you you're, you're, like, not, you're not even a character. You know what? I got to make a new tier. Uh, let's go with this. I'm gonna name you. Who gives a crap? All right, we good. You can see I've Grammarly installed because I, I don't know why. We'll we'll go with that. Yeah. So I don't even know your name. If I don't know your name, we're probably going down here. Next, we got Robert Burke. I'm surprised I knew that one actually. He's a paleontologist. He's kind of stupid. I mean, there's literally a T-Rex outside, and you're worried about like. I mean, I hate snakes too, don't get me wrong. I hate snakes more than I hate dinosaurs, but come on. In a survival situation where you're face-to-face -face with a T-Rex. Yeah, kind of stupid in my opinion. Otherwise, he doesn't really have much of a character, so I'm just going to put him in meh. Like, fine, a lot of these like guys that you're going to see coming up here, they have like absolutely no personality. So, you know what? We'll just go with it. Ludlow, Ludlow's fine. I mean, he does his, his stuff. Again, I like how the first two movies, there wasn't like a flat-out super lucrative villain that was like out to like get the world it was just kind of a normal person that just wants to make a business and wants to make a profit 
I mean, does he do bad things? Does he care about the lives of the people he's hiring? No, but you know what? That's that's just kind of how he thinks. I'm gonna put him in good, to be honest. I was gonna put him lower, but we'll go with that. Next, we got this girl, Kelly, I think. Yeah, right. I just watched the movie today and I almost forgot that. Uh, we're gonna put her. To be honest, I'm gonna put her in mess. She's like, every single movie basically has one of these, like, kid actors, and she's just the most forgettable, to be honest. Like, I, she's not flat and annoying, at least, but I'll, I'll put her above Robert Burke. Yeah, we'll go with that. I, I know his name. They said it once, but I, Carter, Carter, uh, I, yeah, I'm still putting him down here. Dieter Stark, I, again, like, no personality. He has a cool death scene, so I guess I'll put him at the top of man. I, I don't know, you guys, I'm just kind of rambling on at this point. Uh, you, Eddie Carr. Eddie Carr is awesome. I'm putting him in awesome tier, to be honest. Yeah, really cool. He's kind of like this different version of a hero-type character. He, I mean, I, I think it's really cool. Yeah, he kind of sacrificed his life for the other guys. So I think that's that's pretty admirable. You know, not a straight-up, like, big hero that saves the day, but, you know, he does, you know, save three people's lives, and that's something. Uh, Nick Van Owen, kind of feel the same about, to be honest. It's pretty cool. It does make a stupid decision every now and then, but... I think it works. This is a J or a, a J, yeah, I think so. Something like that. I don't, I don't, again, don't really have much, so I'm gonna put you in meh. You also got this lady, Sarah, right? Uh, to be honest, she's kind of a supreme dumbass throughout, like, the entire movie. Yeah, we're gonna go down there. Also, we got Jurassic Park 3 now, so who is this? This is Billy, Billy Boy. He's just kind of Nick Van Owen but just the wish.com version, like, it looked kind of similar. Not really, but I'm just gonna say that. Uh, yeah, you're going down there. I don't really care all that much about, ah, you know what, I'll put you meh. I mean, you have more personality than most of these guys, so I'll put you right there. Next, we got Cooper. Uh, these next few guys, for these, like, mercenary villains, are, again, completely personality let Honestly, uh, I think I'm gonna put you down here. I was gonna put you down here, but you didn't do anything, so I'm gonna put you down. I'm, I'm gonna put you here. You know what, that just makes sense. And also, I'm gonna be making a redemption. I'm putting you up there, actually. You're not that bad. And then we got... Uh, please tell me I remember this kid's name. Oh my god, I'm gonna get roasted alive. Uh, you're Eric, I think. Yeah. Again, just more kind of random kid characters. So you're, gonna, you're just gonna go down there. Next, we got Nash. He's like the most forgettable out of these mercenaries to be honest. He was like the pilot. Uh, I mean, he gets eaten by the Spinosaur, but so does everybody else, so he's just going there, to be honest. Oh my god, who are you? Uh, you're from Jurassic Park 3, apparently, but I don't know who you are, so I'm putting you there. Is he Ben? Is that his name? Like, Amanda's wife or something? New husband? I, I don't know. Like, Jurassic Park 3, like, who cares, to be honest? Uh, Kirby? Uh, okay, yeah, you guys know where this is going, yeah. <laughs> we made a special tier for you, to be honest. You and your wife, you can go down. Actually, Amanda goes lower because she's just annoying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, next we got Udesky. I kind of like this guy. Doesn't really have much to him, but, you know, he's, he's fine. I'll put him in. I'll put him in meh. Up there. Yeah, there we go. We'll put you there. And now we're into Jurassic World, Maserani. And I'm going to put you... I'm gonna put you in awesome. I think, I actually think Maserani is really cool. I'm gonna put you up there, actually. You know, he got a made Jurassic World, and that's pretty epic, I guess. I, again, at this point, I don't even know. Next, Vic Hoskins, this is, he's just a giant asshole. Like, that's his entire character. Um, yeah, I, I don't have much to say. You, you can go there again. This entire category is almost completely defined by cool death scenes. This category and that category. So, I, I don't I don't know what to say. So, I'm, I'm putting you there for the same reason. Same thing with Barry. I can put Barry in meh. I mean, he was in Dominion, so I don't know. I can put you up a few spaces. I mean, this this entire category is completely irrelevant, to be honest. So, whatever. Uh, Claire. Hello. Hi. You're gonna go... Uh, can I put you in awesome? I can't put you in awesome, to be honest. I'll put you at the top of good. Like... Uh, it's fine. I like Bryce Dall Dallas Howard's acting. I don't think she's in many other roles, so this is like one of her bigger roles. But I think she does a, a decent job, and I think especially her arc in the first Jurassic World movie is pretty good. After that, I mean, she's just as boring as all the other characters. She eventually turns out. It's right now. It sounds like I absolutely hate this franchise. Uh, let's go with Lowry next, I guess. Uh, he's he exists. To be honest, I'm not even gonna like categorize him here. He just exists. Same thing with who's the other lady? I don't even remember your name, to be honest. 
uh, Vivian. Yeah, the only reason why I know that is because of Jurassic World game. I'm putting you there. Uh, Gray? Gr Gray? Yeah, that's your name. Uh, that's kind of sad. Uh, Gray, he's, he's just Tim. Like, he's literally the same thing. They're the same age. And they're, he's, they're the same character. Uh, I'm putting you in meh. You're just less memorable. And then I'm, I'm gonna put Zack here too. I guess he's a bit more annoying since he's a teenager and his entire character is teenager. So that's not fun. But uh, Chris Pratt as Owen Grady, he's pretty awesome. I'll put him up here. I mean, I don't, uh, let's put him in here. I think he solidified the bingo dynamite. I don't really like him in Fallen Kingdom, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that he's not a really cool character protagonist kind of thing for the second trilogy. He's a fun character to follow and he's pretty well written for the most part. Then we got Ken Wheatley. Uh, at this point, the only reason why I know any of these people's name is from the Lego sets for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you in, in meh as well. I don't know, you're old. Kind of, you doesn't he kind of look like Roland Dembo if he had no hair? Kind of, uh, if he had hair. I mean, not really, actually. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, shoot, did I just scroll down? Oh, that's gonna bother me. Okay, next we got uh, this guy, John Lockwood. Is that is that? No, that's not his name. Why would why would Lockwood and John Hammond have the same first name? He's got to have it. Benjamin. Yeah. Does it actually matter? No, not really. Next we got this guy. I don't like this guy. He's the villain. Eli Mills, I think. Uh, he's fine. He's just another Vic Hoskins. He's just kind of an asshole who just wants money. So yeah. There, you're, go you're going there. I don't really like Fallen Kingdom, so... Uh, yeah, most of these characters are just kind of annoying to me. Same thing with this guy, Franklin. He annoys me. Uh, the other one... Uh, not, not so much. I can put her in meh. And then, who is this? This is Maisie. She's fine, I guess. And... Why is this guy in here? He he's the judge guy. I don't, I don't care. I don't know your name. Oh my god, yeah, look. Meh is literally just all Jurassic World characters. And this doesn't even have Dominion. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, but anyways, hopefully Jurassic World the game is up next time. If not, then I might just make another tier list video. I don't know. Are these enjoyable? Let me know. Subscribe, please. Bye.